Hey mates, Lodian here. Today you're seeing the FJ4B VMF232 with 5 AGM tropes. I just want to tell you that it's not perfect, but it's the best in game. In terms of best, I mean cast planes. If you remember the old days of Tiny Ivans being fired from mid 15s, well, this is like that. But you can fire 5 times instead of 2, and you can remote control your projectiles. But more or less, the ballistic of these projectiles are pretty straight, so most of the time you don't need to control them. If you have participated in the Operation Summer event and managed to get 9 marks of distinction for pilots, you should have unlocked this plane. It can carry 5 AGM 12s, it's not a premium, so you may have to grind out the AGM 12 modification. Those rockets have around 91mm of penetration and it got almost the same explosive mass as tiny teams. Most of the time if you hit a light vehicle or you hit a tank from the top, it's gonna be a one-shot kill, for sure. Without further ado, let's take it into the game. So the map is Middle East and I'm just gonna yeah, mess around a bit. You know, try to spot my targets. I know this is a dangerous move, enemy radar A could have taken me down there. But I bet they haven't come out. Yeah, luckily they don't have any radar A's for now. Alright, spotted the target, Leopard 2 K, I believe. So, a Leopard 2 K ahead. Well, I'm at it with my first rocket crosshair and fire rockets away. Now I decided to stare a bit, made me miss the target, but I did ignite it, the lever 2k. So you can see that if it's a direct hit onto a vehicle, it's more likely to give it a one-shot kill, but that wasn't a direct hit. Enemy Gepard took down one of our friendly FJ4 BVMF 232s and well, I have to watch out from now on. Turn my plane around and just trying to spot some black dots on the map. Oh, just spotted one. Looks like that Gepard. I mean, Lep. Yeah, Gepard. Leopard AA, so called. Second rocket away, but someone already took it out. But I spotted another Leopard 2 case ahead, and this time I don't have to steer it, just aim at fire. Boom. Hit it on the side of the turret, and. Every crew is gone. Then I spotted someone, you know, near the enemy base, because they're obviously responding. And this round is not looking so good so far, even though that our team got a lot of kills over here. Yeah, F2H marked marked target for me. Looks like the same Leopard 2 K I just shot it earlier, and it's gone. Not a direct hit. So I thought maybe it is better to use this thing to do the anti radar AA job since most of our team's jets does not have this capability and AGM 12s are perfect dealing with lightly armored targets since it only have a high explosive warhead. CSU 23 4. Steer it a bit. Guide it to target. Boom, direct hit. And this Gepard damaged myself a bit. I think it's still at this invulnerable, invincible stage when it got its respawn. So basically, I flew around a bit and decided to turn back. Well, spotted. Okay, he's he's down. He got been taken out. Now the Gepard rocket away. Not a direct hit, but good enough to take it out. Alright, then that's the old Gabbard. It is no longer in its invincible stage, but uh, I have one last missile. If I can hit it, perhaps. I think it had already spotted me. I mean, I have. Two last missiles, sorry. Whoop. 
That's a hit. Not good enough. Alright, it got me and I got him. Overall, this plane is worth it. I feel that it's worth the grind of the Operation Summer event, unlike the I-7. You know, it got something new, which is long-range strike capability. It's not overpowered. Enemy AA can take it down. Enemy jet fighters can take it down. And I just feel that it's worth the grind. Thank you for watching. See you next time.